here with my ball in hand, in front of the Mayflower, where we have a special Lord and Hardy evening tonight. We're gonna be served beef stew and lasagna, vegetarian lasagna, with water. Well, here goes nothing. I'm having a ball. Welcome to the Mayflower, Laurel and Hardy night. Let's have some fun.
Twitty's favorite gal. <laughs> To the poor guy who always gets the short end of the stick, Charlie Hall. <laughs> to the man who would sit right there and play that piano, and I, it so happens I have a picture of him from 1985 sitting there playing that piano. And uh, of course, if you can't make out who that is, if I tell you he created the cuckoo song, you may say, oh yes, that must be Mr. T. Marvin Hatley. And so I toast Mr. T. Marvin Hatley. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy and all of us, I'd like to thank Mr. Hal Roach for being responsible for all those wonderful things that made us laugh so much. Mr. Hal Roach. That was awesome. And one last toast to the founder of the Way Out West End, to Bill Patterson, to Bill. And I've got one last special toast. Be, be, uh, bear with me. To Jimmy. <laughs> He's not dead yet. <laughs> he just acts like it. He's gonna fool us. <laughs> Okay, this is a serious toast. Uh, I, I'm sure both, most of you know by now that Earl Crest passed away uh, in September. He was one of our past grand sheiks and a uh, good friend of my family and a good friend of everybody that was in the Sons of the Desert. And I have a special toast here. I'm going to read it so I don't mess up something. Earl came to Hollywood to become a cartoon writer. And that he did very successfully. But along the way, he also learned how to do voiceovers for cartoons, produce cartoons, write comic books, write books, and even did puppeteering. Among some of his accomplishments, he won two Emmys for writing the TV cartoon, Pinky and the Brain. He wrote the last Roadrunner cartoon at Warner Brothers. And if you want to see it, it's on, uh, you can see it on uh, YouTube. Just Google Little Bo Beep. You know, like the road runner, beep, beep. And you can see it. It runs for about eight minutes. It's really cool. He also wrote for the Transformers, Pound Puppies, Tasmania, and Baby uh, Looney Tunes. He also co-authored a, a, a book for the voiceover specialist, June Foray. He did puppeteering and voices on the Muppets. He joined the Animation Guild's executive board in 1995 and was elected vice president of the guild in 2004. He co-chaired the Sons of the Desert International Convention in 1980, Hollywood 80, with Lori McCaffrey and Bob Satterfield. Earl was grand sheep for, for Way Out West from 1983 to 1985. After he retired from being grand sheep, Earl continued supporting Way Out West activities. He often came to meetings and rarely missed coming to our yearly banquets. And as a personal note, he was a good friend of the Wiley family. We always enjoyed his kind manner and his right sense of humor. His wife, Denise, is here tonight. And the Wiley family, Wiley family again offers our sincere condolences. We miss you, Earl, but we know that you're here in spirit. Let's give a, a round of applause to Earl.
I, I got to know Balinski. <laughs> she she uh, did the designing for Sports Bear. Thank <laughs> you. 